Whether you realize it or not, frequency and vibration hold an extremely important yet hidden power that affects our lives, our mental and physical health, and our consciousness. The science of somatics, which is the study of visible sound and vibration, proves that vibration and frequency are the organizational foundation for the creation of all matter and life. When sound waves move through a physical medium, such as land or water, the frequency of the waves has a direct effect upon the structures, and this works within the human body as well. To better understand the power of sound frequency, let's discuss the Kladni plate experiment, named after the German physicist and musician who made this concept visible. In his famous experiment, he showed how moving a violin bow against a metal plate covered with sand could visually display the movement of sound. The sand concentrated in areas where the plate was not vibrating. Through his work, he was able to conclude that sound, or frequency, travels in waves, and he was the first scientist to clearly demonstrate this connection. Take a look at these images to see how different frequencies create different effects to the structures of the sand. As the pitch of the tone increases, geometric patterns form and become more complex. One of the most important frequencies that you may hear of often is that of 432 hertz. Hertz refers to the number of vibrations or cycles per sound. So why is this frequency so important? It vibrates on the principle of golden mean phi and unifies the properties of space, time, light, gravity, matter, and magnetism with biology, DNA code, and consciousness. It has profound effects on expanding our human consciousness, as well as on the cellular level of our bodies, and is considered to be a superior tuning due to its positive effects. This is a natural frequency, and it's stated to be a pure tone of math fundamental to nature, and is mathematically consistent with the patterns of the universe. Modern science has begun to recognize what ancient civilizations knew long ago. Everything is in a constant state of vibration. In fact, this frequency is said to be connected with everything that is, including the works of the ancients, such as in the construction of the Great Pyramid. Everything has a range of frequency, including every organ and cell in our bodies. Scientific research has shown that our cells resonate with and respond to different frequencies. When we are in resonance, or the act of resonating and producing positive feeling states, we are in balance. Music based on 432 hertz creates resonance within our bodies and balances the emotional and mental state. It transmits beneficial healing energy because it's a pure tone of math fundamental to nature. But you may be surprised to know that our current musical standard is a tuning of 440 hertz. So when did this concert pitch come into effect? Most music worldwide has been tuned to 440 hertz since the International Standards Organization, or the ISO, endorsed it in 1953. There is a theory that the change from 432 hertz to 440 hertz followed the recommendations of the Nazi party spokesman, Josef Goebbels in 1939. According to this theory, there was an organized effort to change concert pitch to 440 hertz at the start of the last century to codify an old world new order of central pitch. This was set into motion in order to increase anxiety levels in individuals, causing them to think and feel in specific ways, making them a prisoner of a consciousness that breeds disharmony. It's also alleged that the Rockefeller Foundation had an interest in making sure the United States adopted the 440 hertz standard as a part of a war on consciousness, causing more emotional distress and in turn, more physical illness and hardship. Whether these theories are true or not, one thing is certain. The frequency that music is tuned to has a profound effect on us. This is not just a spiritual concept, it's mathematically and scientifically proven. And because most of us listen to music often and have a way to plug that directly into our ears, it's a great idea to deliberately use specific frequencies as often as possible. In using 432 hertz intentionally, the structure of our atoms and DNA start to resonate in harmony with the phi spiral of nature. 
Referring back to the plate experiments, here are the differences that these two frequencies make when used. The 432 hertz seems to show a much cleaner and more organized structure. Many people have described similar perceptions over their individual experience of 432 and 440, but some who are not able to distinguish the 8 hertz difference claim that they feel 432 hertz as a warmer, richer, fuller experience that just feels better to them because of the longer wavelength. And there are videos on YouTube where you can hear the differences in specific music tuned to 432 or 440. It should also be noted that extremely agitated individuals have been observed physically relaxing their breath and their bodies at the instant 432 hertz is presented to them. So what's the actual shape of 432 hertz? John Stuart Reed, the co-designer of the Cymoscope, which is an accurate device that measures acoustic vibrations, states it like this. 432 hertz pops out as a triangle every time we image it. We thought there was something wrong with the cymoscope, but after trying for more than an hour, we concluded that the number three was somehow universally connected to 432 hertz. We captured it on video also, and it looks like it's alive. It writhes and pulsates and refuses to take up any other form. Nikola Tesla stated, the brain and the earth itself work on the same frequencies. If we can control that resonant system electronically, we can directly control the entire mental system of humankind. Interestingly enough, the application of certain frequencies by frequency generating devices can enhance cellular resonance and cellular metabolic and electrical functions. And it has been discovered that healthy tissues have more structured water than unhealthy tissues. Clinicians who recognize this fact have found that certain types of music, frequency generators, and chanting can improve water structuring in the tissues and health when they are correctly utilized. In fact, pulsed electromagnetic field therapy, or PEMF, has become a popular method of treatment for many physical ailments. So what is PEMF? This is a process that involves directing powerful pulsed energy waves towards damaged or injured areas of a patient's body. Although rarely talked about mainstream, NASA recognizes this type of therapy as well. In a NASA paper entitled, Physiological and Molecular Electromagnetic Fields on Human Neuron Cells, written by Thomas J. Goodwin, PhD, he states in his conclusion, as is clearly demonstrated in the human body, the bioelectric, biochemical process of electrical nerve stimulation is a documented reality. The present investigation demonstrates that a similar phenomenon can be potentiated in a synthetic atmosphere. One may use this electrical potentiation for a number of purposes, including developing tissues for transplantation, repairing traumatized tissues, and moderating some neurodegenerative diseases and perhaps controlling the degeneration of tissue. There's a link to this article in the description of the video if you would like to read it in its entirety. Frequency has a hidden power to affect our thoughts and our minds, as well as our bodies and ultimately our society as a whole. When our music is based upon a tuning standard of our choosing, we can resonate with the Earth's frequency and attune ourselves to a consciousness that aligns with a positive life. Sound is more than just vibratory signals. It interacts with life and helps to shape it and sustain it. It acts as a conduit of conscious intent between people, societies, and entire civilizations. We are all energy bounded by frequency. If you would like to attune yourself to the 432 Hertz frequency, I have created an hour long musical track and put it to a video and I'll place a link in the description. You can use this track to go to sleep to or you can run it in the background during your daily activities. 